Okay. A very good afternoon, sir, and everyone present here. I am Priyanka Krishna of MBA Department, Amity University, Patna. Sir, there must be numerous goals which you have had set for the company, and accomplishments achieved under your direction are obviously evident of the fact that they have been successfully achieved. So, sir, my question to you is: Besides workplace, may we get to know what are the aims that you have set to achieve for your personal growth? You know, my my goal, uh, and thank you very much, uh, Priyanka, for asking that question. And I think it's a very profound question. I think uh, whenever you kind of get a role, irrespective of what it is, uh, the fundamental goal should be to make sure that you do your very best uh, and you deliver on the expectations. It's like when you're in college, right, or in school. Everyone at home has an expectation on how you should be. performing what your grades should look like as i said earlier the same applies to the workplace as well so how do you make sure that you are actually delivering superior performance and i think that is something which has always motivated and i'll tell you a true story and i've got many stories uh, but i think we are short of time but let me tell you this uh, so there was an organization which i uh, started working in uh, 2000 uh, I'll tell you two stories in 2003, uh, and when I joined this organization, it was very small. I mean, there were hardly any, hardly any revenue. And I remember that um, uh, I had this conference room, and you will laugh at this, Priyanka. The conference room was 30 square foot, uh, which means that um, if a, if a wide-framed guy like me sat in that, uh, there was one other guy who could fit in. There was a whiteboard, and then no third person could come in. but that was my luxurious conference room so my colleague who also i had hired had joined in new he came in and he was trying to share with me how our competitors have huge mind share and he had got a lot of newspapers magazines and he was showing me and saying look manoj in this article all our competitors are there our name is not there look here look there so he was basically trying to to challenge me and saying that look We have a lot of work to do. The market even doesn't know us. If the market doesn't know us, how will customers invite us? How will they buy from us, and so on? And so he said, "So Manoj, what is your goal?" And I said, "Look, my goal is to be the market leader." And he said, "Fantastic. So when do you think you will be a market leader?" He said, "So what is your current market position?" I said, "My current market position is that I don't have a position." Uh, and that was true because you know when you look at market shares and you're an MBA student, so you will have the top three or four firms, right, which show up in the pie chart, and then all the rest where do they go, Priyanka? They go into a little pie called others. So there is the number one player, number two player, number three player, number four player, and all the rest are others. So he said, so Manoj, now we are in others. You say you want to be market leader. How long do you think you know it will take before we become a market leader? and i said you know what we will appear in the pie chart as as our own name uh, within 18 months and in 24 months we will be number 1 he looked at me he thought i was drunk i told him i absolutely say i don't drink i said i'm absolutely convinced we will do it and he said you're sitting in this cubby hole you know have you walked out and seen what is the infrastructure your competitors have i said yeah I know my competitors have millions of square foot of office space. I know my competitors have thousands of customers. I know that the media keeps writing about my competitors. I know that nobody knows me. Nobody knows where my office is. Uh, nobody, you know, kind of even knows the work that we do. But I'm telling you, in 18 months, you know, you will see our name. In 24 months, we'll be number one. And Priyanka, believe me, in 18 months we were number two. 24 months we were number one. and then i was with that firm for 10 years and we were number one all the 10 years thereafter so barring the first two years so when i started we were nobody we were others 18 months later we were number two 24 months later we were number one and thereafter we were number one forever and ever so the day i left that organization i was and i was leaving my colleagues called me and said that we have got these awards you know from all the previous 8 years when we were number one and you know we want to take a photograph so that you can take this photo back with you so the reality is that you have to you have to be very clear you have to have tremendous passion you have to have self belief if you believe in it it will happen believe me always it does 
many times we lack self confidence you know we think it's just too hard it can't be done and then the whole team has to believe in your dream you know everyone should say no we can do it we know how to do it and we'll keep working and hard work priyanka 18 hours of hard work 20 hours of hard work you know feel shy you know sleep in the office i used to have colleagues who would sleep in the office i would come next day morning and because they were working at it and then they would say when we haven't gone to sleep can we go home get a few hours of sleep and they would go come back and just keep working round the clock because you know that you know you have a mission there's the other lesson which i had uh, of another business uh, and that was another lesson which i want to share with you and because you are an mba student these lessons will be useful to you and your friends uh, i took over a business which was making a loss for 10 years uh and when i took on that business i was given a simple goal i was told double market share uh and make sure it's incredibly profitable in 12 months so i said you've given me a business where we've made a loss for 10 years you want me to go and double the revenue and you want me to make sure it's profitable that's a difficult task so i started understanding as to why we were making losses where we had gone wrong and i realized that i needed the help of one specific Uh, department very much if i were to make my business profitable so i remember i um, went to the office of this senior colleague of mine it was in another building i sought time with him i went to his office and i said ramesh i have come here for help and he says manoj what help do you need and i said look i need 1 2 3 if you can please help me i think this will uh, 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 you know uh, do do good for my business and at the end if it does good for my business it's good for the firm and he said oh manoj that's such a simple request i mean uh, you didn't have to come you could have just asked me on the phone and i said no no i wanted to come i wanted to share with you what my plan is i wanted to share as to why this is so important and why without your help i am not going to be successful he offered me a nice cup of tea i'll never forget that uh, this is from the 80s so you can well imagine it's like going back more than 30 years and then as i was getting up i asked him a very simple question i said ramesh the request i have made to you uh, and you exceeded without even blinking an eyelid why is it that you had not done this earlier because i was convinced that if he had done this earlier the business would not have made the kind of loss it was you know what he said priyanka he said manoj because nobody came to my office sat across the table and made that request so it was a great lesson of humility for me that if you are humble mountains will move people will go out of their way to help you when you sit with an ego and you say no i am the boss and everyone should come to me and everyone should prostrate before me and everyone should come and share how they can help the business because i am the boss it's never going to work you must always remember you are one of the members of the team whenever i have drawn the org structure i have always shown myself at the bottom of the pyramid that's how i draw my org structures i don't start with the guy at the top and then draw the org structures i reverse so my name is right at the bottom so these are lessons which you learn in life and so each of the businesses and i have been blessed and fortunate priyanka to have led many businesses to have helped them succeed but my lessons were the same my lessons were open mind open heart my lessons were lessons of humility right they were lessons of passion of hard work of making sure that you get the entire team to galvanize make sure that you don't win as an individual win as a team and that goes back priyanka to actually my college days so i want to go back as to how you begin in your college days and how it carries forward So in my college, I used to do theater, and when I used to do theater, I used to direct and I used to produce uh, and I used to act as well. And people used to ask me, Manoj, this time we are going for this competition. What is your goal? And I said, my goal is to win the award for the best play. They said, why do you not want to be the best director? Because sometimes I used to direct or best producer because I was producing. And I said, no. the only goal that i want to achieve is best play because best play means everyone wins so yes if some of our friends get the award as a best actor or actress that's great right or best supporting actor or best supporting actress that's great but what i truly want to achieve is that we must actually gun to get the 
best play. And many times we would succeed. And those used to be very, very happy moments, you know, for because then you win as a team. So I think it all begins from your time in college on how you kind of mold yourself, how you work with your friends, how do you collaborate, you know, what are your aspirations? You know, do you want to just beat everyone and be number one? Or do you want the whole team to win? So you have to go back to your basics, right? So these are things which I felt happy about in college when I started working. I said, now we need to win as a team, we need to succeed as a team, and let's do whatever we need to. And let us not stand on ego. So I know it's been a long winded, I've shared several stories with you, uh, but I thought that these are important lessons from my life, which will help perhaps some of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. It was really great listening to you. Thank you so much for enlightening us with your words. Thank you.